You know our next guest as Umbaku, the Wakandan warrior who can slap on that leather skirt and fur shawl and still look scary as hell. Next, he stars in a movie about unborn souls competing for life called Nine Days. Any questions? Am I dead? I wouldn't say you're alive or dead. Are you the boss? I would say a cog in the wheel. <laughs> That sounds intense. How long is this process? Hard to pinpoint exactly, but if you make it until the end, nine days. So I have nine days? Yes. Or less. After that? If you're selected, there is an extension as a newborn. If not, I would say it's the end. Nine days opens in theaters in New York and LA, July 30th and nationwide August 6th. Please welcome Winston Duke! Any uh, dogs' penis stories you want to get off your chest? No, no. <laughs> okay. I don't. Okay, I good. I don't. I don't. Um, you know, we know each other a little bit. We've met at a few parties along yes, the yes, way. Yes, yes, You're amazing in, in Black Panther. And are you, uh, are you shooting? Yes. Are you, uh, are you currently shooting Black Panther 2? I don't know if I'm allowed to say anything. Okay. Unless you want to be sniped by a mouse. Okay, you know? gotcha. So we'll be uh, we'll be very coy about this. Yeah. Because Marvel yeah. is very uh, coy. So um, well, I am working on a movie. You know, we're shooting a movie that rhymes with Mac Panther. Okay. <laughs> and That's can you <laughs> can you like can you confirm or deny that you've been wearing uh, fur pashminas and leather? I, I, can't, I just can't confirm it. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Now, um, you must, that must have been wild for you doing that movie and, and uh, people approach you and, and call you like Mbaku. Like, what's the deal? How does that work? It's just very weird being called Mbaku in weird places that you would never expect. So, in the bathroom, things like that. Mm -hmm. You know? And then, you know, being a part of the black community, if they love you, if they love you, that's you mm -hmm. for life. Really? Right? So, like, They'll be like, oh my God, M'Baku's got a new movie coming out. <laughs> yeah. Like, I didn't know they let him out of Wakanda like that. <laughs> he's in the house, he's interviewing people, that's crazy. Yeah. I saw M'Baku in Mexico, did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> and so it's like, I'm M'Baku all the time to black people. So they'll just literally be like, oh, oh, M'Baku. I'm like, Winston? Like, yes, yeah, so it's Winston. <laughs> Um, yes, I'm a, a tiny Jew to black people. Um, <laughs> well, they also know Jimmy Kimmel as Jimmy Kimball. Oh, really? So they always <laughs> add, right? My man knows. My man knows over there. It's Jimmy Kimball. Um, you might be Nick Kroll's. Yeah, Nick Kroll. I'll take it. I'll happily. <laughs> um, now, uh, yeah, no, but people genuinely be to me like, there's nobody who can snipe you better than like a 14 year old black kid. I oh, feel yeah. like, you know what oh, I mean? Yeah. Oh, they'll, 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 they just can nail you pop culture wise perfectly. Like, I think to, to most like, like black teenagers, they're like, oh, there's that small dude from Big Mouth. Like, that's what I'll get. Um, and that's great. That's a, <laughs> yeah. It's not a fun one to be known as. No, no, it's know. not great. I'm like, it's a cartoon, okay? I'll take a buckle. Yeah, yeah, it's better. <laughs> and, um, well, so, but I, you know, in, in doing Big Mouth, we, I talk to people about their puberties a lot. Like, what, well, how was your puberty? Was it a blast? <laughs> you know, this is a safe space. Yes. Is it? This is a safe, nobody's watching, it's just us. It's just us in the room. Get the crow out of here. Yeah. <laughs> it's a safe space. Absolutely. I'm going to follow in the, the footsteps of uh, Seth. Yes, great. And uh, share a story of mine mm -hmm. that, you know, I got caught by my mother watching some unsavory material once. OK. So that day, my hormone monster was like, <laughs> do it, go for it, do it, go for it. <laughs> and I listened. Yeah. And, um, and I'm like, she's in the living room. The computer was in the living room. And I'm like, aren't you tired? You, you, should, really, you should really take a nap. <laughs> you look exhausted. And she's like, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm, I'm good. I'm like, you look so tired. I, you, should, you should go in the other room. Yeah. So then she, as a mother, 
knew something was up, so she fake fell asleep on the couch. Oh. And don't awe this. <laughs> this is why this story takes a turn. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like doing my thing, and all I feel is a shoe hits me. <laughs> and she's like, you're sick! <laughs> you're sick! It's four in the afternoon, Winston! <laughs> and I'm like, I didn't do it. <laughs> I opened an email and it all downloaded and I was trying to close it. And she's like, no, you were there for minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and she was, and then, like a true, like, you know, mm -hmm. Caribbean parent, mm -hmm. she made it a little bit about her. She was like, I can't believe this is happening to me. <laughs> <laughs> My son is a pervert. Yeah. How could you, Lord <laughs> Jesus Christ? How did I raise such a pervert? Yeah. And then for like a good two years, I was known as the porn king. Oh, yeah. nice. So anytime they would leave the house, her and my sister, if I was home alone, like within like a minute, they would bust back in the door like that. Like, <laughs> porn king. Yeah. Right? So you just had to wait like an I extra five minutes. I had to wait minutes. another 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. And your mom is, is here tonight? She is here tonight. She's here tonight. I'm just going to keep. She's not, she's, not in the, she's not in the audience. She's backstage. Okay. You know, is she but... wearing heels? That's she's all I want to know. Heels. Okay. She feels good about herself. Okay, she's now good. embarrassed again. Okay. You know. Well, it all gonna... worked out. It yeah. all worked out for you. Now, tell us a little bit about this movie, Nine Days. What, what, what's the movie about? So, the movie is about a man with a job in the afterlife. Mm -hmm. And his job is to interview spirits for the opportunity to be born. Cool. Um, he's a man that has, the one catch is he's the only person that's ever, he's the only one in that narrative that's ever lived before. Mm -hmm. So he knows what life is and how hard it can be and how painful. And, you know, he lives in a life of quarantine, essentially. Wow. Watching the people he's chosen so far live their lives through their eyes. Uh, I'm just picturing myself, if either of us had been interviewed by your character, mm. if he had been like, what were you doing at 4 p.m. in high school? <laughs> <laughs> I would have failed that test. <laughs> well, Nine Days opens in theaters in New York and L.A. July 30th and nationwide August 6th. Thank you, Winston. We'll be right back with music from Gucci Mane. Ta-da-da. <laughs>